So, as you can see, the top, this is the top of the brace. You see where the metal comes into contact with the rubber? That's thicker on the top than it is on the bottom. And so what happened was, as this thing was spinning like that, you could see one side was rubbing up against the dust cap and the other side was giving it a gap. So it would go like this. So I don't know. Um, you know, I've had good uh, experiences with Fabi in the past, but uh, this is a part where you do not want to fuck around, and and you do, you don't want to put in something that uh, is not absolutely kosher. The OEM BMW center bearing for the drive shaft versus the Fabi aftermarket unit. There is definitely a difference. Um, there are differences in um, the way they set their bearings. On this one, the bearing seems to be set deeper and this is more shallow. This sleeve goes out more than this sleeve. So this sleeve is shorter on the OEM one. When you try to press the bearing, it will not budge. It's very, very strong. Whereas on the Fabi, <laughs> you can deform it. Okay, so this is a $23 unit. Um, this is a $200 unit. Okay, so I'm thinking this is gonna last way more than this flabby thing. I just installed this brand new um, OEM center bearing. And I didn't even have to use uh, any <coughs> pipe uh, to hammer it down. I literally installed it by hand. I put some grease on there and I pressed it in and it resisted, but not enough, um, not so much that I couldn't press it in. Uh, so I, um, I just put my fingers there and I pressed it in and it slid in, I mean, it was like surgical. Um, so, and as you can see, the lip here goes all the way to the dust cover. On the other unit, that was the aftermarket Fabi one, if you had touched the lip onto the dust cover, it wouldn't spin, it would get stuck. Uh, because it was just, it's just the tolerances are not there. They're, I don't, I don't know where they're getting their technical data, but it would get stuck and you, you just couldn't spin. Um, which defeated the purpose because if you take this, this uh, boot here and you move it away from the dust cap in order for it not to spin, uh, then the dust is gonna get in and ruin your bearing, right? But this thing is so freaking tight and it's, it's straight on, it, it, there is no wobble. Um, the other one, uh, when you s sp spun this, you could see a distinct wobble, be the difference between the rubber boot and the dust metal dust cap. And this one slides in by hand. I don't know if that's gonna be the same for every car, but on mine, it slid in by hand. Whereas the Fabi unit, you have to bang it in with a, with a washer or whatnot. Um, and so, this thing came in all the way by hand and it totally seals this and it spins smoothly, like totally smoothly. So I didn't even have to use a hammer. Uh, and so that's why this thing is $200 and the other one is $23. You just can't, you just can't do it. You know, I, I don't know what people are thinking, but if something's too good to be true, it probably is too good to be true. And this unit here, you cannot, you can't fuck with it. it, it it's solid, right? Um, so you don't, you can't imagine the drive shaft vibrating up and down and tearing the, 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 the rubber like, like this thing, see? I mean, it is, I'm barely applying pressure and this thing is like, it's like a balloon. I mean, there, there is just no way this thing is gonna last. It's just flexing and vibrating. Um, and I know that this thing here, it appears solid, but there's gonna be give. 
under the right amount of uh, stress and pressure, there's going to be give so that it dissipates. Whereas that one is just gives, right? No matter what pressure you, you give it. So I can just imagine um, it's just not going to last long enough.